Hi, welcome to Nick's school. I am Nick. Do you ever wonder how people drive near the school zone? When people can cross the street and when people can ride bicycles and where they exactly need to ride the bicycle? Who tells everybody what to do? That's why we have what are called as road signs like these and also road rules. So, we are going to learn about all these road signs and rules. These are all taught in the driving school. But it's very important for you to know road signs especially near the school zone because if you are walking or if you are using a bicycle then you need to follow the road signs and road rules very very seriously otherwise you can get hurt you can break your bones if you don't follow the road signs and road rules okay look at all these things this is what is this this is called a traffic light we'll learn more about traffic light later on and what is this speed limit 25 and what does a stop mean okay let's start learning about these different signs these are known as road signs and the traffic light directs the traffic it tells when to slow down when to stop and when to start driving if you are on the road okay that's about traffic light so we'll come back to traffic light again let's look at the first and the most important sign we need to know and that is called the stop sign look at that it is written here s t o p stop and we studied about shapes of various objects can you tell me what is the shape of this object? Let me give you a clue. I want you to measure the number of sides it has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ha ha! This has 8 sides and all sides are equal. It is painted in red. The letters are white and it has a white background. This is called the stop sign. This is the most important sign that you are going to see on the roads when you go to school. When a stop sign is there, if your mommy or daddy is driving, that means they have to stop the car. They need to stop the car long before you reach the stop sign. You don't go past the stop sign. The stop sign is telling the traffic to stop. And then you look at the roads, make sure all the sections of the road are clear. Then you can go further or you can make a turn. But it is very important to make sure that you come to a complete stop when you see the stop sign. And the stop sign is also used in different uh, situations, especially in the school zone to direct the traffic and also to help children cross the road. Let's look at some of those examples. Here, here is another sign which is talking about speed limit. We'll come to that later on. Let us go and look at uh, other places where a stop sign is used. Okay, here is another sign which is telling that you can cross the road at this location and there will be stripes here, white stripes telling where exactly you need to stay when you are crossing the road. And remember this sign is telling you that this is the place where you can cross the street. Okay, again can you tell me what is the shape of this sign? Okay, let us see how many sides this crossing sign has. Here is one, here is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. 
So, this one has 5 sides. What is the name of an object that has 5 sides? It is called a pentagon. Penta means 5. So, this is a pentagon and also this is a two dimensional object because it has the length and the breadth. This is not a three dimensional object like the tree which has the length, the, the length like this, the breadth and also the thickness. So, three, a tree is a three dimensional object whereas, the crossing sign is a two dimensional object. Anyway, this is telling us that we can cross the road here and you have to look for the white stripes where you are allowed to cross the road. Okay, let us look at another example of where, where we use the stop sign. Ah, this is a good example. Have you seen the school guard at the school uh, intersections? The school guard will have a stop sign and the school guard will help the children to cross the street as I said between the stripes and here it says this is a school zone. That means, the children are crossing the street in this area and when the school guard is holding the stop sign, the car has to come to a complete stop. Wait for all the kids to cross the road safely and when everybody has safely crossed the road, then the school guard will bring down the stop sign and signal the cars to move forward. So, it is very important that when you cross the road, you do not cross the road by yourself. You need to wait for the school guard to help you cross the road. So, you stay with the rest of the children in the group and when the school guard says, okay, now we can go, you follow the instructions from the school guard. And let us go to the next slide and see some more signs. Okay, as I told you before, there will be two lines here and a person walking. That is the crossing zone. That means, that is where you can cross the road from one side to the other side. Sign is shaped differently. Can you remember what this shape is called? Okay, this shape is called the diamond. Crossing sign is like a diamond and it also is yellow in color with a black person crossing between the lines. So, that is another road sign that you need to be familiar with. The diamond has how many sides now? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the diamond has 4 sides and this crossing sign is yellow and you see a person between the lines. That means, you have to stay within the lines. So, that is about crossing sign at the school zone. Let us look at something else here. The next one is, okay. here we have a stop sign and here is another sign which is telling that this is the place where you can ride a bicycle. Some kids, some kids go to school riding their bicycle. You should always ride your bicycle on the sidewalk and you should wait for the school guard to tell you when you can cross the street. It is very, very important for you to wait for the school guard to tell you when you can cross the street. So, you go with the group and you follow the school guard's instructions and make sure you always wear a helmet if you ride a bicycle. Otherwise, if you fall, you can get hurt. Next one. Here is another place where you use a stop sign. Again, this is a octagonal stop sign that is attached to a school bus. When the school bus stops to pick up or drop the kids, then it flashes the lights here at the top and it also 
shows the stop sign. That means the traffic coming from this side and the traffic coming from this side is supposed to stop. They are not supposed to cross a school bus when the school bus is dropping the kids or picking up the kids on the street. So this is very important to learn about the street rules. The school bus will flash the light and turn on the stop sign and it will also flash the light here and the kids can safely get inside the bus or get out of the bus when they are coming back from school. So that is another place where a stop sign is used in the school zone. Let us go and look at some more signs here. And when you are riding in the car with your parents going to the school, sometimes you are going to see this sign. This sign may say school zone. It may say slow down and when the lights are flashing yellow, that means you have to reduce your speed so that you are not going to hurt the children. So this is very important for people to follow the rules of the road, especially in the school zone. If somebody goes beyond 25 miles per hour, the cop can stop and give them a ticket. The ticket can be very expensive. It is very important that we, that we follow the road signs very seriously especially near the school zones. The fines near the school zones are very, very high. And the same way if your mom or dad is talking on a handheld phone, cops are going to stop them and give a ticket. So if your mom or dad is holding a phone, especially near a school zone, tell them, to keep the phone in the pocket. Otherwise, the cop is going to give them a ticket. We have to follow the road signs and road rules. Otherwise, we are going to get a ticket. Let us look at some more road signs here. Okay, here is a school zone and here is a, or a jeep coming up and this is the traffic signal. This is called the traffic signal. The traffic signal has three lights. It has a red light, yellow light and green light. When the green light is on, that means the traffic can go. But if somebody is crossing the street, like I told you, these stripes tell where people can cross the street. And if somebody is crossing the street, even if it is a green light, the car has to stop and let everybody pass before we proceed further. When the yellow light comes on, that means slow down, slow down and get ready to stop. Sometimes you see people speeding up and if the cop sees people speeding up during a yellow light, they can get a ticket, fine. When the red light comes on, that means it is like a stop sign. You have to stop right in front of the traffic light. You wait to wait till it turns green before the car can go further. So do you remember all the things I told you? When it's green light, when the road is clear, then you can go further. If it's a yellow light, that means slow down get ready to stop and when it turns red that means come to a complete stop don't move until we get a green light and when you get a green light you don't start immediately you want to make sure the road is clear before you go further so that is about the traffic lights you should remember there are three lights at a traffic signal. This is called the traffic signal. Red light means stop and green light means go when the road is clear. Let us look at some more road signs here. Sometimes when you are riding, you can see rail crossings. These are called rail crossings. 
these are the rail tracks where the train goes and when you see that you may see this sign which is like a circle with a black cross mark and it says or and or that is for rail road crossing. So, when you see the sign you have to come to a complete stop make sure there is no train coming here and make sure the gates are not closed some places you can see gates that will close when the train is approaching. So, you have to make sure the road is clear before you can go any further. So, it is very important to learn about the road signs and also road rules. Road rules tell you when you can do what needs to be done. All right, let us see if there are any more signs. Okay. Again, we are in a school zone here and in a school zone, there are very strict rules about how fast people can drive a car. For example, here it says 35 mph, that means 35 miles per hour. So, if you are near a school zone, it, it can only go no more than 35 miles per hour. And if you get close to the school zone and if it is a school time, then you may see flashing lights and a sign telling to slow down to 20 miles or even 15 miles per hour. So, that is another road sign that we need to be familiar with. So, these are some of the road signs and road rules, especially near a school zone. The important thing is for you to follow the road signs and road rules. If you are riding a bicycle, then you have to wear a helmet, you ride only on the sidewalk, then you wait for the guard to help you cross the street to get to this class. All right. Okay. Let us meet again next time and learn something new. Hi, this is Nick's school. I am Nick. Okay. Bye-bye.